Hey YouTube Dippers, this is Dip and Coat 90. Got a special video for you today. But before we do, I gotta explain something to you. Notice I'm not wearing sunglasses. That's one thing. Second thing, I think I'd reveal and show you that I'm coming along great with my... I'm trying to attempt to grow a mullet. Just to be different than the haircut that I've been used to getting all my life since 20 years ago. For the last 20 years, you know. So, I figured I'd show y'all that and point out that I'm not wearing sunglasses. I'm not trying to rush this video, but let me just uh, get that out the way. But yeah, I'm thinking about growing a mullet here. As long as my hair's been in quite some time, haven't cut it, I don't feel like cutting it. <laughs> so, this video, again, I repeat, I'm not trying to rush this video, so bear with me if it sounds like I'm trying to rush it. I'm trying to not rush it, but try to speed up it up a little bit, quit stuttering and all that, you know. But, you know, like a, a, a subscriber told me, just act naturally, and this is the, it's a good tip, good advice. Act naturally and just go with the flow. If people like it, that's cool. If they don't, they can kiss your ass. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's true. But I just want this to turn out great, you know. I want y'all to be happy about my videos. Because I, I got a lot of people out there that enjoy my videos. Anyway, we got a dip that I have never made a video on. I've dipped it a couple times in my life, but I haven't made a video. And today, I'll be dipping on Cope Straight. You don't see it much around here. I had a buddy send it to me. He sent me other dips too, but I figured I'd try this one out first. And let's pack it. Now I got a, a topic to, to talk about today. So, while we pack this lip, let me talk about the first subject. And I just spilt some dip on my foot. Mmm. By the way, I figured before we talk about the subject I'm about to talk about, I forgot to point this out. Uh, check this shirt I got right now. I'm wearing. I got my cousin to make it for me. My last name's Teal, by the way. It's a Teal thing. You wouldn't understand. I thought it was cool. I have a custom-made shirt with my name on it. My last name like that. Anyway. I didn't know he made t-shirts. He custom makes... He, 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 it's like he does a print business. Printing shirts and screen print and all that. Anyway. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. I'm trying to wipe the dip off my table. I'll leave that down on the floor. I dropped my controller. Um, I got a toppy with the... It's, it's real big. No, sicko. It's, I'm not talking about that. Ha ha ha. Get it. Um, no, for real. It's a big topic that we're talking about today. And that would be about the World Series. I got a lot of people telling me who you think's going to win. For people that don't know as much as baseball like I do, would know. Even the people that don't know baseball as well as I do would probably be aware. The Cubs ain't won since 1907 or 1908. They're the only two years they've ever won the World Series. Last time they won a World Series was 08. But they won the first... The, uh, the Cubs are the only... Uh, the first team to ever win back-to-back -back World Series champions like that 
they were the first ones to do it before the Yankees started doing it. You know, because, you know, the first World Series was played in 1903. I've had a friend of mine ask me one time, when was the first World Series? Well, the first one was ever played in 1903, and of course, back then, they were called the America, American, or America Red Sox, or something like that. I don't know what they were. All I know is what we know today as the Boston Red Sox. You know, back then, they had some weird names for baseball teams. Names change over the years. Yes, Boston was the first one to win 1903. The first ever World Series. Um, point I'm making about the Cubs. What you didn't know is this. This is the first time since then that they even came this close. Well, 1948 is the last time they ever appeared this close to being in the World Series like this. If I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong if you're a Cubs fan. I mean, I like the Cubs too, but I'm a Braves fan. Just to let you know. But I do have... Res I'm one of them sports fanatics that likes watching sports that I don't sit there and trash talk your team. I might give you hell about it but I'm not gonna sit there and go like screw your team and, and you know I, I I do it in a more sportsmanship point uh, perspective you know I'll say ah uh, you know you ain't gonna win I'm not gonna say sit there and you know I don't take it to the extreme like that I mean I respect you got your team you want to root for. That's cool. I got my team to root for. You know what I mean? In other words, I may not like your team, but I'm sure they're pretty good. I might, uh, I won't sit there and talk negative about your team. I'll, if I think they're, they have a chance of winning something or winning a game, I'll tell you. But if they don't, that's not me talking crap about your game. It's me being statistical of, you know, what their chances are against a certain team, you know. But I don't hate anybody's team. Everybody's got their own choice to pick whatever sports team they like. But about the Cubs again, I think this might be their year. You know. Everybody, like I, I meant to tell y'all, everybody got their favorite baseball team, right? That's basically what I was trying to say. Anyway, the Cubs is not my very favorite team because, like I said, I'm a Braves fan, but I do want to see them win. But at the same time, Cleveland hasn't won since 1948, but I would think... I'd like to see the Cubs win this year, Cleveland win next year. That'd be cool. Because I'd like for both of them to win, but one's going to have to win this year. Then the other team will have to try it the, uh, next year. But that's what's going on in baseball for those people that hasn't been catching up on it. Because, you know, there might be sports fans out there that has... You know, people. some bit, people have jobs that they work so much, they ain't able to watch their favorite teams play, you know, on TV. You know, I got some people out there that have jobs to the point they ain't got time to watch their teams play on TV. So I have to tell them, oh, your team won today, by the way, or, you know. So I, I, I'm like, I usually tell my friends about it, unless they don't want me to and want me to surprise them, let them figure it out. <clears throat> point is that's what's going on in the baseball world next <clears throat> I want to tell you about the future videos that I'll be putting up in the next couple videos my next video I can tell you right now all I can tell you is that 
it's a chew video. It's not a dip. It's chew. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Um, hopefully you like this video. And normally I, you know, I usually play country music, but country rap's good too, I guess. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of country rap, by the way, or hip hop. I just like some of it, but some of it, it's like, mm, it's okay. I prefer classic country in my, that's just me. I mean, and if Redneck Soldiers and Jaja Boy is watching this video, I like them. You know, I like Georgia Boys and all that. But here's the thing. One thing, I, I, I just grew up around 90s country and whatnot. You know, old country. I mean, I'm not picky when it comes to music. I got a wide variety of music I like to listen to. Some people might think it's weird, but... Like I said before one of my previous videos once, country is not what you listen to. Country is not what you drive. It's not what you, the clothes you wear on your back, or period. It's how you live and how you was raised. That defines what country is. Well, that's it for this video because, you know, that's about all I had to say for this video. But be sure to check out my next video, which might be in the next couple days or so. Be sure to check, uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't. And tell me what you think about this video because sometimes I feel like I might have messed up in the video. But if y'all if like it, I'll keep it up. If y'all don't, I'll remake it again and try it again. But remember, keep dipping and spitting. Real dippers dip 24-7. And if you ain't dipping, you ain't living. I'm out. See you next time. See you on the dip side.